there are five types of MI. Okay. Obviously, type 1 is type 1. Type 1 is the most common type which occurs because of rupture, dissection, and erosion of plaque. And type 2 is because, as I told you, that always there are the plaques in high risk patients like smokers, uh, diabetic patients and the multicomorph patients with the hypertension and all these with the family history and the hypercholesterolemia they always had what the plaques the anything which actually raises the demand of the heart they, uh, it would create a demand supply mismatch heart needs more blood but because of the, this partial occlusion body cannot give enough blood to the heart so it would the, the MI because of this cause uh, is the type 2 MI and we will uh, tell it that the, this is a type 2 MI because of the demand supply mismatch okay and the type 3 MI type 3 type 3 MI the MI which occurs in the patient and cause death of that patient and uh, which which will be presumed because of the cardiac arrest but there would be no evidence so sudden cardiac death with no evidence suspected MI would be the type 3 MI okay so note these things please and uh, now we came to the type 4A and type 4 B type 4 A the MI because of the PCI because of the PCI any peri procedural MI because of the percutaneous intervention is type 4 A and the MI because of the stent thrombosis stent thrombosis as you know that the most common stents we are putting nowadays are the drug elusion stents death stents and the most uh, problematic and the most uh, 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 important and we can say that the notorious complication of that death are that uh, uh, drug elucidant stents is that uh, it would give us a stent thrombosis so the uh, MI because of the stent thrombosis is type 4B and what is the type 5 MI, type 5 MI is MI associated because of cabbage, post cabbage, post or peri procedural cabbage. So these are the five types of MI. Okay. Later on, we will discuss about the stent thrombosis. That what is the stent thrombosis? Actually, there are the uh, uh, three types of the stent stent thrombosis. Uh, is, let me tell you about the stent thrombosis. So strength, strength thrombosis is acute like early, late and very late. Acute is like within 24 hours. Okay. And early is like, like uh, within one month. Okay. 24 hours. Sorry. Early is like within, uh, this is like within a one hour and this is like within a one day like 24 hours and this is within one month and late is one year more than one year is uh, less likely but the, there are the cases which actually has been reported with the strength thrombosis after one year so acute is within one hour and early is within 24 hours and late is within a one month and uh, very late is like uh, after one, one year. 
or within a one year and after one year is less likely but there are the cases so uh, in those cases who are actually high risk for distant thrombosis we continue DAPT like uh, uh, dual antiplatelet therapies in those patients now now the symptoms okay how we how we actually clinically diagnose the acute ST, uh, uh, acute MI so all patients who are coming with the chest pain typical atypical or whatever or the non cardiac they should go for the ECG any chest pain any chest pain should go for the ECG within a 10 minutes this is a class 1 indication this is a class 1 indication from 